I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to you guys for all the love and support continuously through all the truck giveaways that we've been doing and literally giving, you know, loyal fans and supporters and passionate diesel fans a opportunity to win a truck like this and to own one and drive it and keep it as their own or to sell it and you just don't know how much that could really help that person that ends up winning this truck you know sometimes people are quick to judge and quick to assume you know certain people and certain things and the way things are but you just never know what people are going through um and and it's all by random anyhow i mean there is no picking of the person but all of my winners so far have been absolutely deserving and just have absolutely loved and appreciated um, the trucks that they've been given, you know, through winning the giveaways and stuff. So, again, guys, just huge thank you to all you guys who, you know, continuously buy the merch and support the channel and support the builds and stuff. And I know there's some people <laughs> that, that, you know, comment randomly, oh, go back to the old school LNP stuff. And, and I get that, you know, because that's how a lot of people ended up finding the channel through doing the work vlogs and stuff like that. But this has been the grand plan all along for our channel and where we wanted to go with things. And when I say that, it's not just about giving a truck. It's about being able to, A, build more trucks, give back to people, and be able to take the brand and the YouTube channel and the community to a whole new level, at least the Loud and Proud community, to just be able to impact more people and do more on the channel versus like one truck. And it takes, you know, six months of slowly building on it, trying to, you know, pinch pennies with YouTube revenue. We're able to actually take the funds from the giveaways and build these trucks in 30 days and, you know, launch another one and get it done in 30 days. We're just able to do so much more and get so much more done in a lot of different ways, not just about trucks and, you know, videos and stuff like that. What is up, Loud and Proud crowd? Welcome back to another video here. We are actually about to take the Duramax and park it at our place. Reagan and I's new place and our new shop, and then we're gonna be picking up the Longhorn. And the reason why we're gonna be picking up the Longhorn is I have not ran that truck in a long time, and I'm going through withdrawals right now, and uh, I don't like it. I need to drive that truck again. It's such a beautiful truck. I just hated driving it in the salt and in the snow and all that stuff, because it's just a lot of wheel and tire throwing a lot of grime everywhere. And so, I had to wash that thing all of the time and it was just getting overwhelming and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to wash it once good, park it and just not drive it until it's a little bit warmer and we're finally in spring to where everything's warming up, it's not so cold, they're not salting the roads anymore and I love that. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be getting the Longhorn and doing some driving. We're actually going to take it up to Devon's tonight. We are going to be working on the first gen stuff. And for everybody that's new, this is my 2018 Mega Cab Longhorn 3500 6 7 Cummins. I mean, it's one of the biggest, baddest sons of guns you can you can buy right now in terms of the heavy duty trucks. I mean, it's freaking huge. And I had it parked because it was, you know, awful, awful weather and super blistering cold and all that stuff and salt everywhere. First startup, and how long has it been? Four weeks, probably? A long time. Three or, three or four weeks. I don't know. It's been a while, but it's not too cold right now, so it should be cold and fun. Here we go. I was watching my RPM gauge in there, and as soon as it fired up, the gauge was like, row, 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 and then it smoothed out after about three seconds. But <laughs> you can tell she's uh, she sat a little while. Now we're gonna start up Little Rosine.
<laughs> Devin here started a YouTube channel. He's been talking about it for a while, so yeah, he got it started. It's all this guy right here, yeah, Mr. The, LMP. The, the link's in the description down below if you guys wanna go check it out. Heck yeah. Head studs and valve springs is the topic for this truck today. Tell you what, when you got a high mile bad boy, you start smelling some smells. <laughs> but, no, we got the head studs in. I uh, just gotta do the valve springs next, but. And rocker got, pedestals. Yep, and the rocker pedestals. But I mean, it should go pretty smooth. I just gotta pop the injectors back out. So just put them bad boys in, but we'll pull them back out and everything and put some pressure to her so the valves don't whoop, fall down and. Yeah. You know, then we'll be good. And then we're gonna have to send it next time I'm back up here. Yeah, I think, well, what's your de definition of send it and my definition? I mean, just like pedal to the floorboard. Oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> we're good, I mean, we can pull this cap off, and this cap off, and just start cranking and everything until we, we can get a runway and then catch it and then turn it down a little bit more and start it and then send it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know about the whole runaway deal. I'm not really upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll keep the 15th year horsepower and keep my engine intact. Yeah. So I won't say no names right now, but maybe I can get a locker rear end for this. That would be cool. We need a locker rear end on this so we can stop doing one wheel fields. Yeah, because he cut me a good uh, price for my big truck that I built on 46s. I blew that out at a traffic light. You know what? I'm going to get a picture of the Mordecai, <laughs> of that little blue bird, of that bird. It's from that cartoon show. It is, it's, I'm gonna post it's it It's that all blue over. jay. I'm gonna put it all over, like, <laughs> have it float, and like, <laughs> every time I say a bad word. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But <laughs> instead of doing the, the blue jay, I wanted to do it like you do, the <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can get this going down the road. Now, quick question, I was looking for drop shackles for this, yeah. and I was not finding much. I was finding tons of drop shackles, but not anything that's specified to 91 yeah, D, we'll uh, have to, D250. Uh, yeah, we'll have to measure the leaf spring perch, uh, inlet eye, and then the um, frame perch. Because I found some that said they were like, fits any truck that runs this size bolt with two and a half to three inch yeah. wide leaf packs. And it was more of like a generic thing with like several different holes down the side for fitment. Yeah, no, that, that'll work. Um, we'll just have to like measure, make sure the bolt size and everything is the same and the width of it. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can go to a place and they sell a lot of stuff, but then I saw it on a kid's YouTube with the Duramax that he literally did the whole back half of it. And it looks good, but man, it's salty. But I'd rather just go with that cheap thing since it's a play truck, you know? Now, what do you think about the ideas that I sent you today about Bucket seats yeah. and harnesses, drop the rear end, and put new suspension on the whole thing, build the transmission, maybe get some more fuel out of it. I think we should try and get all the power out of this VE pump. Yeah. I was telling Devin, I said, I went back, and I actually had my fiance's dad in the truck, and I'm like, thinking I'm coming down the end of the road, and I'm like, I'm gonna whip a donut right here, and I, and I started swinging the rear end of this truck around, and I hear the suspension parts banging around back here, and I'm like, oh no. I say if we put the bucket seats in, we put a like a uh, cool center console. No, 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 no. Oh. Like an actual race style ratchet shifter, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. like like a dog box or something. But yeah, I don't know. Cool. I don't know if you could get like a dog box or some some kind of setup with a training like this. Might have to go to like pretty expensive training. <laughs> I wouldn't even mind putting a freaking manual in it at some point. Hey. Cause that'd be super easy to do anyway. Just drop a yeah. fi uh, five speed in there with a dual disc in it. Oh dude, that'd be cool. And a billet input shaft. The world's stiffest clutch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you follow me on Snapchat and social media and stuff that I brought back the Longhorn as my daily driver for the time being. Um, it was in storage because of salt and snow and just gross stuff. And I just, it's just a hard truck to keep up on with the wide wheels and tires that throw salt and stuff everywhere. So this truck's been in storage for the last couple months and uh so happy to be back driving it again as you can see <laughs> snag the thing they're hitting a ball pulling into a parking lot and it ripped the corner of the valence off so i'm gonna have to go fix that but anyways that truck is looking looking good and looking fire but we've got the dually over here now the dually i'm actually about to head up to Devin's shop and we're going to be doing some uh some fun stuff to this truck and it's going to be looking completely different now i've heard a lot of people say 
um, you know, build it, go crazy, be awesome, all that stuff, which is what we do, because, you know, we're a build channel, we're not a buy a stock truck and leave it stock channel, that's, that would, we couldn't do YouTube if we did that, that's kind of how it works, is you buy something and you make content, so you have to do things with the stuff that you're doing, so um, this truck is going to be built. Now, in terms of horsepower, just so everybody can calm down, the people that are concerned, no, we're not throwing massive turbo, massive injectors, and all kinds of crap on this truck, in terms of the engine, there's not going to be a lot of that type of stuff done. Maybe a clean tune, but other than that, we're just going to stick with the fuel system that's on it, the lift pump, head studs, do an intake upgrade, stuff like that, but that's about it. Just more air and a little bit more fuel with a, with a clean tune, but we're not going to be just like romping on the thing and throwing tons of boost at it and stuff like that. We've got some other things for this truck. Now, if you guys were wondering, the tire setup that we're going with, I'll show you right here. So for this truck, the dually, we're gonna go with 35 by 1350 R20s in the front. So I'm gonna go with the 1350 wide in the front because I want that beefy, big look and I want a little bit more lip so I don't curve the wheels on the truck in the front. But in terms of the rear, we're gonna go with your Toyo MT 35 1250 R20. So a little bit more narrow in the rear, not much, just a little bit, but you're never going to notice it up in the front and back. I did want that little bit beefier front tire look to kind of protect the wheels that we are putting on the truck. So that's the tire that's going on the truck. Wheels I will show you very soon. I do have a box of the rears in the back of the Longhorn, but I'm not going to be revealing that quite yet. You're going to have to stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. You guys are absolutely awesome. I'm going to be wrapping up this video right here, but let me know what you guys think of the plans for the first gen, also the plans for the dually, and also the stuff that we have coming up. And a uh, big announcement coming for that truck right there within just a handful of videos. So stay tuned guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome, leave a fat thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.